Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today we're going to be back with the Champaign Police Department at the uh, Los Santos International Airport. Just because the airport's callouts, or a new version of the airport's callouts came out, version 2. So that's what we're going to be rolling with today, kind of trying to show off those callouts and everything. Um, I believe it adds two brand new callouts to the pack. I don't remember what they actually are. So that's what kind of we're going to be rolling with today. But check out this awesome CVPI made by Trent MU and the skin made by Chandler. Looks amazing. We have a fatal car crash in La Mesa, but we're not going to be dealing with that. That is way too far out of our jurisdiction. So we're not even going to be dealing with that whatsoever. But I mean, look at it. It looks pretty badass. The CVPI does the freaking... Uh, the, yeah, the skin does. Let's take a look at the interior really quick. Look at that. Speedometer and dials do work. Hands are somewhat aligned up with the steering wheel. Got a speed gun there, a radar gun, all that. Looks amazing. Love it. Like it. That speaker over there. Ticket light. Love it. Here's a look at your light setups. Check that out. Not prototypical to what the Champagne PD uses, but it still looks badass nonetheless. They don't use ALPRs whatsoever. But I mean, it still looks like a badass CVPI nonetheless. And of course, got that ped made by my buddy Sam Felic. I'm using this ped for a long time now. It looks amazing. But yeah, that's kind of what we're going to be rolling with today. I do apologize if my voice sounds a little bit different. Um, I just literally woke up about maybe like half hour ago. So I'm trying to record this before I go into work. So I do apologize for the voice sound different. I do apologize for not having any videos out the last couple days. Uh, just been really busy. Been really tired. Just didn't, haven't felt like we're doing any recording or editing or nothing. So I do apologize for that. But 241 dispatch. 27 or two, 241 dispatch 1041 10a you guys can tell I'm freaking tired and luckily our unit number is 41 so that's a perfect plus but yeah we're gonna hop out on patrol and we're gonna see if we can actually get any of these brand new uh, call outs a Grand Theft Auto and Los Santos International Airport units respond code 3 241 show me 76 I think we have a private aircraft theft just behind us here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go against traffic, hop this curb, and then we we'll see what's going on. Apparently, the uh, individual does not have a pilot license, so it looks like that would be the aircraft right there. I'm assuming. Two forty-one. I believe I've seen the aircraft making its way. I'm gonna be en route. Yeah, that's it right there. I don't understand how I'm supposed to do this. 241, we're going to be on the runway. Uh, stop all flights. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to really do in this situation, to be honest. Oh. Okay, 241 dispatch. I need a 1096, 1095 to my location. The plane just blew up. 1050. Um, make sure that everything's clear. Yeah. You idiots, get, get back, you morons. I'm surprised they didn't die in that. There's no, like, fire department that I can do? Good God. Uh, I can't see what that, but yeah, I, I do see the individual in there, yeah, but definitely going to be 1144 at this time. A fire truck in route, responding code 3. 241 dispatch, hold off flights, uh, the aircraft 1050 that's blowing up right now, we're going to be off the runway, uh, send me additional Backup needed. 1033. Of, uh, runway 1 in Los Santos International. Howdy. <clears throat> yeah, well, the airplane blew up, and uh, stolen aircraft, the airplane blew up, and I just wanted you here just for some backup, just in case. Uh, 
Yeah, I really have no idea what to do in this type of situation with the stolen aircraft just flying down the runway. I really have no nothing to... Or I really have no idea what I'm really supposed to do in this situation, honestly. Attention, all units. I am not taking the traffic stop back up in the Grand Sonora right. Desert. I'm all the way at the southern end of the map. Uh, Alright, so the fire truck and the EMS are right there right now. Or, I don't know why they stopped over there, but okay. Whatever. I got the dead individual in the aircraft right now. I can't pull him out or anything. So, he's kind of going to be stuck there. It's going to run right between us. Oh. Okay. But, yeah, I really don't know what really to do in this situation. So, I'm just going to let the firefighters take care of it. If they can't revive him, then we already know we're definitely not going to be able to revive him. So, we'll just have to call a corner. And then, I guess, we'll just kind of have to leave it as is, I guess. They're dead. He had a motor. Well, no wonder why he crashed the plane. He has like, I don't know. He has some sort of helmet on that's got a visor. I don't know. It's cutting off his foot. 241 dispatch. 1079 to my 20. For one, Damian Carter. Citizens reporting a Grand Theft Auto in Los Santos International. No corner. There's the corner. Yeah, man, I really don't know what happened. Uh, I had a call for a stolen aircraft, and then next thing you know, I'm chasing this thing down the uh, runway there, tarmac. And then... He just despawned. I mean, I get him boring, but you didn't have to just fucking teleport. Jesus. Yeah, that's, luckily those guys are alive because they're like right here on impact. Luckily they're still alive. I'm surprised that they're still here. I'm truly, truly surprised they're still here. Now if this damn corner can figure out life, I think everything would be a lot more happier. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say because whoever owns this private jet's probably going to be a little pissed. About this whole situation of someone stealing their jet and whatnot. This dude probably shouldn't even be on the runway if he doesn't have a pilot's license. Alright, I don't think this corner is ever going to figure out life. There's like no button that I can hit to uh, spot him closer. So, 241 dispatch. Show me code 4, 10 8. Show 132, code 4, 10 8 as well. Roger that. How do I delete? How do I? How do I uh, dismiss her again? All right, you're good to go. Yeah, I don't think that corner's ever gonna figure out life, so we're just kind of gonna leave the body there. If they ever figure out life, we'll uh, we'll call them back. Oh yeah. Oh well. I wish I could like get a tow a hitch onto them and just like kind of pull them. To, oh, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. No. Bunch of morons. Alright, well, we'll see what else we can get into out here today. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty hectic call for our first call. We have a suspicious person in Los Santos International Airport. 241 dispatch, show me 76. Looks like we got a call from LSI ATC that a plane spotter is dangerous close to the airport. Looks like he's going to be off the end of the runway there. They want a code 2 response, but since we are technically going onto the tarmac and onto the runway, we're going to respond code 3. Of course, the stupid gate doesn't ever want to open for us. There we go. Will this one open for us? Perfect. All right, 241, show us entering the tarmac again. Hold all flights until further notice. And the corner is still trying to figure out life. 20 minutes after, and the corner is still trying to figure out life. These morons. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't have a word for him. 
Alright, is it over here or is it... Yeah, because I don't see anyone. 241, show me uh, 23 in the area. I'll be searching on code 5. 10-4. Is there uh Alright, two forty one dispatch, show me twenty three. It's gonna be a male in a business suit, gray suit, blue shirt, white male. Show me uh code six out with him. Roger that. How's it going, buddy? Jeez, I'm leaving going already. Hey, whoa, 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 hey, come back here, come back here, come back here, man. Hey buddy, get over here. L S P Champagne Police Department. What you doing out here today? I like watching planes? All right, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You know, just because of, like, 9-11 and all that, we do have some high-risk security threats and stuff like that when we have people standing out here on the tarmac, standing too close out here. Just wanted to make sure everything's all right. Uh, you don't have any ID or anything on you, do you? All right, appreciate you. Mal Malgren? Malgarin? I don't know. Malgarin? <laughs> Alright, uh, sit tight. Sit tight. I'll be right back with you. 241 dispatch. 2729 check. Bernardo Malgarin. So he's got to spend a license, no active warrant, so he ain't driving. So, hey, 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 come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Alright, so that's all you're basically doing out here is just trying to watch the airplanes take off and all that take and uh, land and stuff like that. That's all you're trying to do out here. Alright, man. I mean, there's really no issues with that. Just try to stay away from the uh, tarmac as much as possible because it is a security threat, like I said. And it's too, and it's very dangerous to be out here because those planes, a plane could clip on that fence. You never know. And next thing you know, the fence could be tip falling, tipping over on you. So make sure you stay away from the tarmac. Uh, I would honestly stay off of this boardwalk here. Alright, I'm not going to rush you for trespassing or anything. You seem kind of clean. Um, uh, just one question. You don't mind if I pat you down at all, do you? You don't? Alright, go ahead and turn around for me. Just going to pat you down real quick. Make sure you got nothing on you. Alright, find nothing of interest. Alright, man. Uh, you're good to go. You're free to go. Just make sure you get off of this uh, little strip here. I'm not going to give you a citation to arrest you for trespassing or nothing. Just go ahead and uh, get off of here and have a good day, sir. That's correct. Uh, 241 dispatch. Show me code 410 off of that. He's leaving. So I found out that there's actually two versions of this call out. There's this one where the guy is actually friendly. And then there's one where the guy is actually might be violent or something. So we're going to try to see if we can get that one. And yeah, like it says, no trust, but no trespassing violators will be prosecuted. He didn't seem like he was doing anything wrong. He had nothing on him. He wasn't like, didn't have like any grenades or nothing or anything along those lines of like terrorist activity on him. He was just kind of, he's a plane spotter, likes watching the airplanes, so. Nothing wrong with that. Like I watch trains and that's apparently like a uh, tra terrorist activity as well. So, I mean, if you're not doing anything, if you're just kind of out... You know, watching, like, cameras, taking pictures, videos, stuff like that. It's not that big of a deal. And if you were actually on the tarmac, then I would arrest him. But he was on he was on airport property, but he wasn't actually on, like, the runways or anything. So he was just outside of it. So just for his safety, I decided to tell him to go away. Nothing really too big. Nothing too big. Damn, that corner's still trying to figure out where the hell to go. Back up. Back up. Oh, that plane despawns. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm not even going to worry about it. Oh, this dude's going out on the roadway. I've never seen that before. I've never seen these go out on the roadway before. That's weird. Yep, I'm just going to take it out just like we do. Alright. Uh, whoa, dude. Alright, 
241, show me out. Killed six with a, uh, boom. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but this dude definitely needs to get pulled over. Two forty one, show me out on a ten thirty eight with one of those airplane uh, runway vehicles. We're gonna be on the Empire Way, and the taxi line underneath the uh, bridge. I don't understand this. Hey man, how's it going? Am I not in a traffic stop? What? Oh, so I have to speak to him from here. Apparently. Okay, there we go. So wait, I have to actually talk to him from here. This is so not legit. Hey man, how's it going? Adrian with the Champagne Police Department. Reason for the stop today is because when you were running out, coming out of the uh, runway back there, you got really smashing that fence. Any reasoning for that? You just didn't see it? Alright, uh, where are you headed to today? Somewhere with less pigs. Alright. Alright. Do you have your license and proof of insurance on you? Giovanni Locatelli? Locatel Locati? Alright, let me ask you a question real quick. I know you're on the job, but have you been doing any drinking today? Not at all? Alright, sit tight. I'm gonna go run your info real quick. And we're gonna see if everything matches up, because I know you are on the job, but after what I saw there, you smashed into that fence. I'm raising my suspicions a little bit, alright? Can't do a pet check on this motherfucker? There we go. 241 dispatch, 2729 check, Giovanni Locatelli. 10-12-92. Uh, this is so not legit doing the traffic stop from back here, but oh well. All right, you've been doing any uh, drugs or anything, have you? Uh, no. All right, you don't mind subjecting to a couple field sobriety tests, do you? You don't? All right, go ahead, step out the vehicle for me. Over here. Hello. Come over here with me. Over here. I mean, after what I saw, I know you said you haven't doing any drinking, but after what I saw, it's just kind of been, you kind of completely made that right hand turn into them. All right, man. So this first one's going to be a walk and turn test. Basically, all you have to do, you're going to take 10 heel to toe steps. You don't really even look intoxicated. Jesus Christ. You're going to take 10 heel to toe steps in that direction. Go ahead, go ahead, start. Whatever you want. Take ten heel toe steps in that direction, and then take ten heel toe uh, ten heel to toe steps back in my direction. All right. All right. So he looks like he has definitely passed that. All right. So this next one I'm gonna do is a horizontal gaze test, which is basically get closer to the pen. This next one I'm gonna do is a horizontal gaze test. Go ahead and follow my pen. Move with your eyes only. Shit. Don't move your head. Move with your eyes only. Don't move your head. So he passed. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Alright, man. So right now I'm going to be issuing you a citation for wrecking a work vehicle. It's going to be a being at fault of an accident. You weren't intoxicated or anything, which kind of sucks. We could have nabbed him for a DUI if he was actually intoxicated. But I'm going to be citing you for at fault at an accident. You did crash your work vehicle, so he's not going to get back in his work vehicle. Are you going to take your work vehicle back? And hop in it? There you go. Alright, 241 dispatch. Show me a uh, 
code 4108, one with the citation. This wasn't actually part of the call-out pack. This was just something I saw that I had to throw in the video because he completely smashed that gate back there for no, for no reason. Alright. I don't know where the hell he's going either. But he wants to go somewhere with less pigs. So Completely just cut that dude off, but... Nothing I can really do about it. Santos International Airport. Attention all units. We are code four. No further units required. So looks like we have another uh, plane spotter. 241 dispatch. Show me 1076. Looks like he's going to be at the same location. So I'm wondering if this is the same one or if this is a different one. Because I know there's two call outs with the same like thing. So I'm assuming this is the same one. Alright, 241 dispatch, show me entering the uh, runway. Never wants to freaking open, at least these want to open for you. That corner's still trying to figure out life. Jesus Christ. It's going to be in the same location, so probably same everything. We'll see what's going on. Alright, 241 dispatch. Show me uh, 23 on scene. Alright, see what's going on. It's going to be a white male. Gray suit, blue shirt. Hey, 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 get back over here. Jesus Christ. On the ground. Oh, God, no, I didn't want to pull that out. Someone had a to uh, on the ground. Wait a minute. On the ground. 241 Taser's been deployed. He started fleeing from me. Told what I tell you before. I told you not to be back out here, man. Barry Sheen. We're just gonna pretend that his name's actually his name that he was early because this is exactly the same guy. All right, man. What are you doing? I told you, you have to leave this area. Why'd you come back? Easy, Peace Walker. Be in your own space. I have never, ever, ever heard a voice like that in this game before. Why can't I freaking get my questions? Okay, I guess stop the pet doesn't want to work. But what are you doing? I told you, I told you before to get out of here. You can't be on this runway or this not runway. You can't be on this boardwalk here. I mean, I understand you enjoy planes, aviation so much, but I told you you can't be on this runway anymore. You can't be on this boardwalk anymore. It's too dangerous to be out here. Uh, it is pretty dangerous. Like I said, a plane could accidentally not take off and then run through the fence, and next thing you know, boom, you're dead. So we're trying to watch out for your safety right now. No, I'm not going to take the cuffs off. Right now, you're going to be placed under arrest for trespassing. Come over here. I told you to leave once. You didn't. You left, and now you came back. So now you're going to be arrested for trespassing. Now, why does my vehicle look like a slick top? Okay, now it's not a slick top. Two forty one, I got one ten fifteen at this time. It's gonna be the same individual from earlier. Yes, I'm gonna be arresting you for trespassing right now. Alright man, so you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you can and say will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand your rights, man? Get back in the car. Alright. 
So you do realize what you're being charged for today, right? You guess? I never said plane spotting was a crime. I said being over there when I trespassed you from here before telling you not to come back was the crime. You ended up coming back and next thing you know you see me pull up and then yeah, you start fleeing from me. So that's the crime you committed. It's trespassing. You might not be on the airport property, but still, you I told you to go away from there. I told you to get out from there earlier, and you came back. I don't understand what you don't understand. It's simple. I told you to go away. I told you to go home. Scram. From that area. And then you attempt to go back to that area. So that means you're being trespassed. That even you were trespassed earlier, now you're trespassing on the property again. Well, I mean, I am going to take you to jail. Just making sure you understand what you're being charged for. All right, man. Two forty-one. Send me a ten ninety-seven to my twenty. Required for a suspect placed under arrest on a Calais Avenue in a. Los Santos International. Adam 6, copy. We'll check it out. Roger. Greetings. There you are. Greetings. Who called him a dork? Alright, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button if you did. Drop a comment down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Check out the guys in that description below as well. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, everyone.